Well, hundreds of millions of people in North America are preparing for a rare cosmic display. The continent will tomorrow experience its first total solar eclipse in eight years. The next one won't occur for two decades. Science and Tech correspondent Breno Halloran further breaks down the science and significance of it all. Once feared as an evil omen, solar eclipses now astound and can expand our understanding of the universe. The moon will pass between the sun and earth early Tuesday Australian time. Those under this 185 kilometre wide path across Mexico, the US and Canada will see the moon temporarily blot out the sun. Americans outside the path will see a partial eclipse. Totality will occur around 11.27am Pacific time. That's 4.27am Australian Eastern time. It will be the first solar eclipse in the US since 2017. And you can tell so many there are super excited. It seems like just awesome because, well, it is awesome. Cleveland is very boring. Like, there's nothing that really be happening out here. So, like, for the solar eclipse to be here, it's like, and a whole bunch of people are coming, it's like something new. It's expected to be the biggest single travel day for the US this year. Take Niagara Falls. Authorities there are expecting the largest one-day influx ever, around one million extra visitors. Whether it be congestion of traffic, um, cellular network disruptions, um, and, and of course our emergency medical services, we want everybody to be um, on high alert. There's new tech to take it in. The light sound device allows those who are blind to hear the eclipse. It plays high flute noises when the sun is bright, mid-range clarinet tones when it darkens, and a low clicking sound during totality. Having any technology that makes it possible for us to have an experience, an actual experience rather than somebody simply describing it to us, is always fantastic. Eclipse watchers will get an extra special cosmic display, the comet 12P Pons Brooks, which orbits the sun every 71 years, is expected to be visible during the eclipse. Also, the sun is very active right now. Perfect timing for solar scientists. We can use X-ray telescopes to observe the solar atmosphere and gain some cool understanding of the physics that's driving um, these magnetic field induced temperature um, enhancements above the sun's surface. Those who've witnessed a total solar eclipse can attest to the profound impact. The scale of our existence and our connection to the cosmos is put into perspective for a brief moment, then the light returns.